Let's switch gears. Let's go to our MT Top 40, of course, looking at the best football players in Montana's history. And we're on to the defensive lineman number three on this Wednesday from Billings West, a great with the Wyoming Cowboys. And then into the National Football League, the number three defensive lineman is none other than Mitch Donahue. Mitch Donahue was a 1986 grad at Billings West High School, an all-state football player under the former coach Paul Claybo, and he was the first Gatorade player of the year in Montana back in 1986. An all-state athlete, Claybo called him easily one of the best Golden Bears of all time, and another former coach can remember not just football, but a track and field star as well. Well, I watched Mitch in high school. He played uh, high school football and ran track with my brother-in-law, Pat Dringman. Uh, West High had some great players, some great athletes those years. And I can't remember, I think it was Pat's junior year and, and Mitch's senior year when they won state track. And I just remember at state track meet, Mitch doing handstands, walking, ac going across the infield of the, of the track meet. And he was just, he, was, he could do everything. You know, and he was that way. He went to Wyoming, uh, was an All-American, I think fourth in the voting out the trophy winner, led the nation in sacks. Consequently drafted by the 49ers, and I just remember I got the job with Joe Tiller uh, that spring when Mitch was a senior, and watching him go through all the different scouts and all the different testing, and a little black box with what does he do at the 10 yard, the 20 yard mark, things like that. And uh, he was just unbelievable athlete, great in high school, and had a great, great college career at Wyoming. Donahue went from handstands to a sensational career at the University of Wyoming, the program's all-time sacks leader. How about 49? As a matter of fact, the second best, 30. Donahue had 22 sacks in the 1990 season. He was an All-American then and finished fourth in the Outland Trophy balloting. That's given to the top college lineman in the entire country. In that 1990 season, Donahue had three sacks in a single game against Utah, New Mexico, and UTEP. And throughout his entire career, he was All-Conference in 1988, 1989, and 1990. Was named the Western Athletic Conference Player of the Year on defense in both 89 and 90. And was the only player in Wyoming history to be a two-time conference defensive player of the year. He's been enshrined in the University of Wyoming Athletics Hall of Fame. That came in 2002. You see what he did in high school in, in track and football and you see what he did at the college level and they won a couple conference championships with him. 87 88 they were conference champions. Uh, played against Barry Sanders uh, which was pretty cool in the bowl game. I don't think it was much fun because I think he had quite a day that day but when you watch what Mitch did during uh, his college career at Wyoming each year he just got better, um, um, just, just a great player, and he was a great guy. He was a great guy, very outgoing, very personable. Uh, I just loved sitting down and talking to him when I got to Wyoming as a D-line coach. Shoot, I uh, pirated all of his film from his junior and senior years out as teaching techniques for the guys. In 1991, Donahue was taken by the San Francisco 49ers in the fourth round of the NFL draft, but considered undersized at defensive end, he moved to linebacker in the National Football League, and Van Deest says it was a shame they didn't put him up front. Mitch has such a great get-off, and I know the 49ers, I'm not a pro scout or a pro coach, but uh, playing a middle linebacker, I think uh, Mitch was better suited uh, in the days of coming off the edge. You know, I know at Wyoming, Coach Roach and those guys, Dale White, who was his D-line coach, a great D-line coach, they would move Mitch inside to a three technique on guards because guards couldn't handle him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they moved around and utilized him. And I, I was hoping that, you know, that could have happened with him. And I think he might play with the Broncos for a couple years after his 49er stint. But to be able to make it that far says an awful lot coming out of the state of Montana. All in all, Donahue appeared in 31 career games in the pros, 15 with the 49ers, 16 more with the Denver Broncos, and finished his pro career in 1995 on the Atlanta Falcons roster. And of course, you know his son Dylan, who is also a Billings West star, is entering his second season in the National Football League. Dylan Donahue was the Gulf South Conference Defensive Player of the Year in 2016. 13 and a half sacks was a conference record at the University of West Georgia. He was taken in the fifth round by the New York Jets in 2017. Yeah, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree with that talent. Mitch Donahue, a National Football League talent, breeding more NFL talent. He's the number three defensive lineman in Montana's history. Beerman, Lazatich, Donahue were more than halfway home in the top five of your MT Top 40 look at the best defensive lineman. Tune in again on Thursday and then on Friday, MontanaSports.com as we unveil number two and number one. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.